good morning. Morning, everybody. Good morning. morning. We've been busy looking at our photo books um, and remembering some nice times. We have all these photo books from holidays that we've had. So here I'm looking at Christmas last year. I mean, it's coming up for Christmas now. So I'm looking at all the nice memories of all the places we went to and the things that we did, which we won't be able to do this year. And I'm looking at last year's the, this, this time last year, October half term, and we went to Edinburgh for our holidays, and we went to York to the Railway Museum. Do you remember? We had afternoon in, tea. Afternoon tea in front of all those big steam locomotives. That's what are you cool. looking at, Rosie? Hey, I'm looking at our holiday in Tenerife. Oh, uh, you're a sun cold. worshipper, aren't you? Is it a bit yeah. too cold for it's you quite, at the moment? It's quite cold, but it was real hot here. Um, yeah, it's maybe good, wasn't it? The middle was good. Fine. What about you, Kate? So what are you looking at? The Selby's and the holiday to Scotland. Oh, a holiday this year to Scotland. Yeah, it's interesting how we're all thinking about holidays, isn't it? And remembering <laughs> holidays. Oh, how lovely it was. It's nice to have these things to help us remember, isn't it? And um, today is a day where we're remembering. Girls, I've asked you to bring a couple of things that help you, that you have, that are special, that remind you of special things or special people. Kate, what have you got? I've got this from Gloucester. You've got this from Gloucester. What picture is this? This is a picture that um, you probably will find difficult to see. But what's the picture of, Katie? It is of um, our two friends in Gloucester. That's right. It's a picture of Lorna and Sebby, isn't it? Our friends in Gloucester. And we used to spend Mondays with them, didn't we? And um, we, we had a nice time together. So that's a nice memory, isn't it? Of How Lorna. tiny are you there? <laughs> Look at you. Just a tiny little thing. How old were you there? Two? Three. Three. Gosh. Yeah, we had nice times with Do you remember that Sebi. quiet little thing <laughs> called Katie? I don't know if I ever remember a quiet Katie. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Rosie? What have you got? Well, I have bought two things. I have my Kenya Soldier moment that happened about two years ago. Three, Three years, years ago. Three years ago. Um, and... That's a good thing because Ruth, when um, junior soldiers are enrolled, Ruth always puts them in a nice frame, the certificates in a nice frame, doesn't she? And so yeah. we can keep them out and remember. And that sits in the your promise. bedroom, does it? Yeah, that sits in my bedroom. And also, it might be hard to see, so I'll bring it up. This is a memory and it has a little Eiffel Tower encaved in it. And it's a memory of my trip to France and when I first got to see the Eiffel Tower in person and not just looking at pictures. So that was very memorable for me seeing one of the world's landmarks like in person. Okay. Memories are very important to us, aren't they? And on this Remembrance Day, I have been thinking over the last day or two of some of the memories that I have. Of, of grandparents who were indeed servicemen. Claire and I were talking, we were explaining to the girls last night about the role that our, our grandparents played during the Second World War and the Great War. Uh, my grandfather was wounded in France um, in the First World War uh, three times. He was wounded in the leg, he had three of his fingers shot off and he was wounded with shrapnel behind uh, the eye which moved over the, the, the rest of his life further behind the eye, they couldn't remove it and, and it resulted in his blindness but he was helped greatly by that great military charity the St Dunstans and my other grandfather served in Monty's army in Africa uh, during the Second World War whilst my grandmother was driving St John's ambulances around Hull. It was the same for you wasn't it with your parents? My dad's dad was in both the First World War and in the Second World War so yeah we've got remember these people that um, took part in the war and gave such it's a it's a remarkable influence that they had and some of the stories that i remember them telling me of those days even those who were left behind i, I remember uh, hearing of the stories of the blitz in in hull which took a, a, an almighty pounding during the second world war and certainly my family have some very strong memories of that and your family would have been in Portsmouth in those days probably in Dorchester yeah. on that south coast taking equal uh, flack. You know to remember is a good thing to do it reminds us of 
uh, not always joyful times, sometimes difficult, adverse times, but how we came through them and how we managed to uh, provide a pathway through difficult days. Our memories inspire us to carry on. I'm surprised, I would be surprised from my memory if you don't have a Bible reading that uh, is appropriate for Remembrance Sunday. I always have a Bible reading. <laughs> Thank you. Well, how about you share it? Well, this is Psalm 77, the message version, verses 11 to 12. Once again, I'll go over what God has done. Lay out on the table the ancient wonders. I'll ponder all the things you've accomplished and give a long, loving look at your acts. A long, loving look at your acts. That's something we should all be doing every day when it comes to the work of God and the influence of God in our lives. I wonder if you just take a moment for yourself to just think of the long, loving acts of God in your own life, in your family's life in the life of the church that you've been a, a part of down the decades. And it encourages us, doesn't it? It encourages us no end to believe in the promises of God and know that he is with us in these days, that the face of God is upon us. This morning, you'll be aware that the government closed down places of worship last weekend as part of this lockdown. We will be open up at the hall um, for prayer, personal prayer only. There will be no meeting on at the hall this morning, but um, I certainly will go down there at 10.30 to open up, just in case anybody wanted to come for personal prayer. But in the light of the decision, we've managed to put together uh, very quickly this week a virtual Remembrance Day service. And so this morning on our YouTube channel at 10.45, we'll be uh, playing our Remembrance Day service and it includes the two minutes around 11 o'clock so that we can reflect. If you tune in a few minutes earlier there'll be background music to prepare you for that service but 10.45 and uh, all other activities this morning in order to account for that 11 o'clock so children's Zoom is starting a little bit earlier this morning as well and we, we look forward to you joining with us virtually in the act of remembrance. One of the things in which we do to remember on this particular time of course is to wear the poppy and our girls have been, um, we've downloaded the poppies from the British Legion website and we're going to put them on the window. But girls, can you help me in just helping us remember what, why we wear the poppy? Can you remember, is there anything you can tell me well, about the poppy? We wear the poppy because in the Second World War and all on the muddy fields they grow, they grew and it was, the red doesn't just symbol like the blood that was shed but it symbols a sign of hope. That's right, so it was in the first world war, the fields, the war fields that they, that, um, that they all fought on, they were all muddy and of course the red sort of symbolises all the blood, that, that, the lives that these soldiers gave so that we could be free and live life in the way that we do today and so actually it's because it's the, the, the poppy still grew it's a sign of hope as well but Katie on your clock face yes if this was an hour do you know what hour that would be pointing to 11. 11 well done and so if you wear a leaf on your poppy um, you'll notice that the, the leaf always points, or should, point to 11, where we obviously, is the moment when we will remember 11 o'clock on the 11th day. So there we are, so we remember by wearing our poppies. So I'm not so sure I've ever got that quite right. I think my poppy must move it's a bit as, it, as it goes. Well, today on this day of remembrance, as we come to the end of our little morning call to worship, we're going to leave some beautiful words with Katie to, to say a lovely little prayer because today is all about the peace and the hope that God gives, that we each contribute to. And so Katie's going to finish with our prayer today. Dear Lord, dear Lord, please may there be peace in my heart, peace in my home, peace in my school, peace in my world. Amen. Amen. Peace everywhere. And may that be so for us all. May each one of us be channels of God's peace in this world. So from the Almond household today, have a 
peaceful day and we hope you'll stay safe this week and we look forward to catching up with you again next Sunday. We're going to get back to our photo album so have a good day from the Allman household. Bye bye! bye. bye.